Hello, best friend, and a welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. I'd truly be so grateful. Best friend, we got to talk, okay? So um, Justin Bieber did defend his marriage okay so listen right there has been a lot of talk lately about um about Hailey Bieber and you know how she's always trying to defend her marriage I actually did that video yesterday and a lot of you guys you know I, in the video I said like Justin Bieber has actually as far as I know has done this well best friend looks like Justin Bieber has defended his marriage. So let's just take one second, okay? There has been constant rumors, allegations, blind items, headlines, insiders, you name it, there's been a bitch. I mean, I'm going to tell you guys something like there every single day there is a new there's a new headline there's a new blind item. There's a new da, 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 right, and I always, you know, I report on it and we talk about it, right? But Justin Bieber, it seems to he's always just silent. He's never talking out. He's never defending. He's never on social media. He's never, you know, saying anything to the public. Not one tweet. Not one MySpace. Not one Grinder Tinder update. Nothing, bitch. But it, today being Thursday, Throwback Thursday, um, I did find when he actually did defend his marriage and this was on March 26, 2019. So he responded to a comment that said, you are not in love with Haley. You only married her to get back at Selena Gomez. Plus, Haley sleeps with men like Shawn Mendes for fame and she is a racist. And he posted it on his Instagram stories and said, stop sending Haley and I, these messages, if you love me, screenshot this and repost everywhere. So he actually responded to this person and said, um, uh, you're immature. The fact that you have an account dedicated to dissing my wife and I is absolutely absurd. You would, I, what, why would I dedicate my whole life to someone in, in marriage to get back and girl, what? Listen, some, some people don't girl, hang on. Um, you're immature. The fact that you have an account dedicated to dissing my wife and I is absolutely absurd. Why would I dedicate my whole life to someone in marriage to get back at, at my ex? Anyone who believes this is mean-spirited or 10 years old or younger because a logical person doesn't talk or think this way. You should be ashamed of yourself, really. I absolutely loved and love Selena. She will always hold a place in my heart, but I am head over heels in love with my wife. And she is absolutely... And she is absolutely the best thing that has ever happened to me, period. The fact that you want to spend your day dedicating yourself to hate says a lot about you. And if this was some sick ploy to get my attention, you get to get our wrong on you get what you to get our wrong on so many levels. I've seen multiple people say things like this and will never respond again to a message like this because I don't like to even give it my energy. But this is a reply to all immature, sick people who sent Haley hurtful messages like he always goes back to Selena or Selena is better for him. You have no idea my life and what's good for me. Haley is my bride, period. If you don't like that or support that, that means you don't support me. And if you don't support me, you're not a fan nor a good person. Um, okay, so best friend, I think that this message from 2019 actually says quite a lot because, you know, first of all, um, he did respond to one message, you know, and this was it in 2019. And also he did say that he's never again going to respond. I think he did a couple of other things, uh, little stories here and there, but this actually does show best friend that, you know what, he... He 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 has come out and defended uh, Haley Bieber. Um, another time that he did talk out is um, it doesn't really say when. Hang on, let me see if I can find. This was uh, when was this? Well, I'm not sure exactly when this was, but 
He wrote another story says, this is sad excuse of human that encouraged people on video to literally go after my wife, telling people to say that my previous relationship was better and so on and so forth. I just wanted to share this I, so that people get an idea of what we face on a day to day. It is extremely hard to choose the high road when I see people like this try and really uh, try and rally together uh, people to bully the person I love the most in this world. It is not right. But I will say this, as many people as there are that want to spend their time publicly degrading, shaming and trying to humiliate us, we would like to ask those who have it in them to lift us up in prayer. We need prayer and support as we continue to put ourselves out there. So I'm guessing this was a story of, you know, the previous, um, uh, what I just read to you guys. Listen, I will tell you this, you know, I, I've always been very public and very clear about, I don't want him and Selena Gomez ever getting back together, girl. And I've always said, I wish them the best. I do. And, and listen, and, and I get some flack for this. And, you know, I've had people unsubscribe to me saying like, oh my God, why are you so nice to the Biebers? Da, da, da. Listen, it's not about being nice. It's about being human. I Listen, at the end of the day, I'm not losing any sleep over the Biebers. Now I'm probably losing sleep over the hemorrhoid, but I'm not losing sleep over the Biebers, right? Um, I do have to say, like, look, you know what? It's every I, I, I do call out people who who do often, you know, wish ill will or body shame or just say horrible, terrible things about Haley. Haley is no angel, right? And that's the, like that's kind of the the in the middle part that I am. Haley is no angel, and I have definitely seen occasions where Haley does show her true colors. So, you know, we can't just go on to say Saint Haley and put a statue up, right? And nobody is perfect, right? But I do have to say, like, for those people who do, like, dedicate day in and day out to to say, like, I want Celine and Justin back. I hate Haley. She's disgusting. She's this. You know, Justin doesn't love her, this and that. You know, I talk about what's in the media. I talk about what is trendy. I talk about what the news is. But you'll never hear me say, you know, I wish their marriage to end. I hate her, you know, da, da. I don't, I don't know her. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think about her so much to hate. Right. And, you know, obviously I do spill tea and we talk about them every day because there's frankly, there's a story every fucking day, but that's the thing that, you know, that's the thing. I think we, 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 we spill the tea, we talk about it and we, we move on, but I don't think our community is, is one that wishes ill will towards Haley. Now I will say, you know, Justin hasn't spoke out recently and Haley's the one who really has been speaking out and that's on them, right? If if that is a dynamic they want, then it is what it is. I just have to say to Haley, like, if if everything is picture perfect, don't don't waste your time responding. Literally, don't waste your time responding. There's no point in you taking time out of your day to respond if everything is a lie, right? You know your truth. Your husband knows the, you know his truth. You know each other's truth, and that's the only truth that should matter, right? But when she responds, and when we get these type of 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 statements, that's when people start doubting, and that's when people start saying, "Like, girl, did you really have to respond to that? Like, you know what I mean?" So that's like the part that I'm always so confused about because I'm just like, "Girl, we you got you got to get it together, honey. You really do. You got to get it together, and you got to realize that at the end of the day, if everything is so picture perfect, then you know what." go about your day. Now, there is one part in this message from 2019 when he says, lift us up in prayer. It looks very similar to her father's, uh, you know, plead to pray for the Biebers. And also to that other guy, the, 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 the talker with the, the, what is it? The priest, whatever he is, um, that, you know, they asked the public to lift them in prayers. I do believe that Justin Bieber is so incredibly over everything that has to do with social media, with fame, with the the public eye. I think that he doesn't want it. I think he doesn't feel like he needs it anymore. And I really do feel like maybe he has dedicated his life to his religion. And that's very understandable and it's very respectful. But Haley Bieber, I do believe, is just wanting to start her career. So, you know, I do think that they're going to face somewhat of issues if both of them have different life paths that they want to take. So, I don't know, best friend. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, this was a throwback Thursday tea, honey. Um, I do want to say just a quick thing. Thank you guys so much for all your love and your prayers and your support. You know, 
I know that I spilled tea and I know that, you know, I try and turn a negative into a positive. And I know it may seem like I, I strongly dislike people. I don't, I don't, I don't think about them enough to strongly dislike nobody. You know what I mean? Um, but I really do want to say thank you guys for seeing my heart. Thank you guys for understanding that, you know, we're just spilling pop culture tea. We're just talking about what's out there. We don't really wish nobody ill will. And, you know, I really do wish everyone the best because that is what I was taught as a kid. That is what I was taught also what I learned, you know, from following Selena as well. And, you know, I just I want to be able to be, you know, a celebrity gossip site, but also like respectful and 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 not as negative or dark. You know, I want to offer advice. I want to offer my point of view. And I also want to spill the tea because that's what we do. So anyways, I love you all. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.